Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll talk about audio presets for Audacity. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Is it even possible to create audio presets in Audacity? The answer is yes, it is. And I've got one that I'm going to let you have for free if you watch to the end of this video. First, I'm going to show you how it's made. So here's my voice. This audio preset will make your voice sound better. And now I want to apply a lot of different Audacity effects really quickly. Well, it's something under the tools menu called macros, okay? So under macros, I'm going to create a brand new macro and I'm going to call it Mike Voice. And I'll make this available for you to download for free at the end of the video, so keep watching. Now, all you do when you create a macro is then insert different Audacity effects. So we'll start off by looking for the filter curve EQ because it's really very good. Click OK. Oh, and before I do that, I should say that I actually want to edit the parameters. So I can just add on maybe a little bit of high end here, always do a boost around here, a bass boost and a low end roll off. That's fine for me. That filter curve EQ is now added in and ready to go. The next thing I want to do is insert a compressor. So let's find the compressor in my lovely long list of different things I can apply and click OK. And then I will edit the compressor. That's the EQ. Let's click the compressor, edit it, make sure it's set to my liking. Maybe boost that up a little bit, move that down as far as we can. Click OK. They're in the wrong order, so I want to move this one up like that. I also want to insert the ability to normalize. So let's look for normalize under here. We should find it right about there. Click OK. I'm applying that and I want to normalize after I EQ. So let's move that down. Let's move this. It's a bit confusing. Move normalize down. So we got EQ, normalize, compress, and finally we'll normalize again. Insert and hopefully we'll get this in the right place first time. There it is, normalize, click OK, and boom, it's in. So it's back to my original tutorial I've done nearly 10 years ago on my channel about making voices sound better, E-N-C-N. -N. Equalize, normalize, compress, normalize. That's what I'm doing in this preset. It's called Mic Voice. We'll close out of this, of course, saving the changes. And then let's run that macro tools, apply macro, Mic Voice. Oh, of course, we need to select everything. Thank you, Audacity. It's done it for me. Mic voice. Boom. There's your better voice. This audio preset will make your voice sound better. And there we go. There is that preset applied with one click of the mouse from the tools menu. So how do you get it for yourself? Well, when you've created a macro, you can indeed export it like so. And I'm going to do so. I'm going to export it now. I'm going to call it Mic voice and just save it in my Audacity directory. Save. And then when you download that file, all you do is go into this same dialog box. It's under Tools, Macros, and you click Import, and then there's Mic Voice. If it wasn't already there, let's remove it so we can show you how this works. You go Import, Mic Voice text file, and boom, there's my preset. Simple as that. You want to download it? Go to mrc.fm forward slash presets and look for the free Audacity preset download there. That's mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check out my Audacity Ultimate Course for Beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Thumbs up! Subscribe for more! Music Radio Creative!